Now this is my office for the day. I'm in one of my favorite places with the most epic views of New York City skyline that you can imagine, not to mention the George Washington Bridge, which has been my overall view ever since I was a child from the window of my apartment. Today I'm gonna to be talking about the five of my fragrances that I would recommend you guys to get in the clone space. Everybody always asks about these clone fragrances, so I dedicated this video specifically to the house of Armagh. Let's roll my motherfucking music so I can put you onto the five Armagh fragrances I would recommend you to try. Soak in that view. Bless you, morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This your boy, C to the U to the B to the A. Best believe there are some geese that are looking at me wild, crazy, and if I get bit on camera, all that is is views. So the first Arma fragrance that I'm gonna recommend to you guys has been part of the hype train for the last year or so. It is a very popular interpretation of the fragrance Baccarat Rouge 540 and that it's Club de Nuit Untold. A beautiful red and glistening monochromatic kind of gift wrapping paper style with a beautiful sweet cotton candy note and a great interpretation of Baccarat Rouge 540. A ton of people love this fragrance as soon as it came out and I am one of them. It isn't my favorite Baccarat Rouge 540 interpretation but nonetheless it is a powerhouse scent profile that can save you hundreds of dollars in the space and I can't stop looking at this view so if you want a beautiful scent profile that is absolutely gorgeous, reminds you of Baccarat Rouge 540 with an equal amount of performance you might want to check out Club in a week untold next one the next fragrance I spoke about a few years ago which was an amazing discovery that cost me sub $30 essentially it's a combination of Dior Sauvage and Blue de Chanel all bowled up in one but it's a beautiful scent profile with a really ugly looking bottle and that's our mops hunter intense a very unique and again it looks like a dude wearing like this little corset type shit but it's a mass appealing monster there are other interpretations in the blue to chanel space but to be honest with you this is kind of a two for one mix at a beautiful scent profile a really great mass appeal fuckboy type scent profile that will get you laid by somebody it's probably going to be the fat chick in the group but who cares everybody needs loving thick chicks do crazy shit in the bedroom so if you're looking for an inexpensive scent profile with the blue to chanel d DNA mixed with a little bit of Dior Sauvage, look no further than Hunter Intense by Armagh. Super cheap, great performance, great longevity. I hope they didn't change the batch variations, but to be honest with you, Armagh is inconsistent with these batches, so it may fluctuate from batch to batch, but it's gonna be like 20 to 30 bucks. You telling me you don't got that? Next one. There is no way that I'm gonna do an Armagh video without mentioning the king of Armagh, and that's Club de Nuit Intense for men. This is Creed Aventus's arch nemesis, the infamous one that took the clone space to like a whole new level. I feel like this is one of those revolutionary pieces in the clone space that really shook the whole industry by storm. Everybody was like, damn, this is such an amazing scent profile, but I can't afford to spend that 500 bucks at that particular point on this type of scented water. Like who has that kind of money? Only the upper echelon rich bougie or drug dealer chic motherfuckers, which I know all too well. So you might as well get something that is comparable and when this came out boy everybody had it on every list and it still proceeds to be on all these cheap inexpensive good scent profile lists so club de nuit intent is not going anywhere if you want a ventus on a budget everybody knows that this is one of the main stakes in the lineup that you need to get by the house of Armaf. so club de nuit intense has to be on that list of our month next one i love this fragrance nobody talked about it i was one of the first people that took this fragrance and hyped the shit out of it because it was a great scent profile it does have batch variation issues like most our moths as far as performance is concerned but it's a little bit of a green iris tweed and a ventus dna mix and that's le parfait by our moth le parfait by our moth is still a banger dirt fucking cheap a little bit more green iris tweed the more that it macerated it just becomes more green iris tweed and a little bit less aventus but still equally sexy mass appeal easy to wear work safe signature scent worthy for sub 30 dollars again not a very popular scent profile nowadays when it comes to the clone space or a hybrid space but people are sleeping on this shit i have heard some performance issues on some people and at the end of the day go to the gas station and get an ed pill or get sponsored by blue chew if you have erectile dysfunction or performance issues this joint is fire one of like 
the original hybrids in the space that's super fucking good. You can't go wrong with this scent profile. People don't mention it anymore. Well, I'm bringing this hoe back for 30 bucks or 20? Shut up, next one. And finally, the grenade of all grenades when it comes to Millicium Imperial, and that's Milestone. Milestone is recalculus for those who love Millicium Imperial. I've mentioned it in a couple of videos, and this might be a little bit redundant, but Millicium Imperial is okay for me. It's a nice aquatic, dry, nickelish, wet vibe kind of situation. It's very fruity, it's musky, it's dry. This has all the facets of it at a significantly cheaper price point. I don't know where Midasim Imperial lands in the space of Creed fragrances as far as popularity is concerned, but it is a very sexy, selective scent profile for most. But if you're into that scent profile, try to sample. This is one you absolutely have to have in your arsenal because it outperforms most of the fragrances in that lineup when it comes to that Midasim Imperial scent profile. So Club de Nuit Milestone is definitely one that you need from this Armoff lineup. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. These are the five are my fragrances that I would currently recommend. There are a ton others, but these are the ones that if you're going to be stepping into the space of our moth, which most of you already have, these are the ones that I think you would go for. It has the mass appeal quality, it has the sex factor, it has decent amount of performance varying, again, by batches, but you're never gonna figure that out, to be honest with you. I think if you're gonna venture into the affordable space, you can bag up all of these at the same time, still on that sub $200 space. Shop it around, you can get them all for a decent amount of deals. There's so many great market websites, I'll put a link in the description to some of them where you can shop them around and find what's the best option for you. I love y'all mother suckers from the heart. Let me know what you think of this view and I've actually do more outdoor videos now that the weather is getting beautiful and I'll see y'all snitches next time. You know who it is. Biggest in the game. Smooches. For the fly gun holder, money folder, roller roller, star tag when it's time to call back. For the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse, sweet on top of my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in.